The communique released at the end of the summit says on the Comesa Free Trade Area, FTA, the Comesa leaders noted that intra-Comesa trade had increased to $22.4 billion US dollars by the end of 2014, signifying a recovery from 2009 when intra-Comesa trade was $12.7 billion US dollars due to the global financial crisis and economic recession. The Comesa member states also encouraged each other to continue. Nice, 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 nice. Online reporting and monitoring mechanism. The summit also reiterated the importance of peace, security, and stability for creating an enabling environment for investment and economic development. The Comesa leaders also emphasized the importance of comprehensive post conflict construction as an imperative to successful peace process. Turning to Malawi, the members congratulated His Excellency President Arthur Peter Mutalika upon his election as President of Malawi and commended the people of Malawi for turning up in large numbers to elect their leaders and for remaining peaceful and calm. The summit also condoled President Mutalika, the government and the people of Malawi on the death of many people and destruction of property as a result of flooding. In closing the summit, his Excellency Haile Maliama de Saleh, Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia and incoming chairperson of Comesa, lauded Comesa leaders for their constructive deliberations during the summit. He said that the leaders had achieved collective understanding of how to enhance value addition, inclusive and sustainable industrialization and increasing access to global value chains. I sincerely welcome and appreciate the spirit of dialogue and open-mindedness that prevailed during the summit. We have deliberated on the silent issues that affect our region's industrialization and future of our common market. And I believe that we have achieved collective understanding about how to enhance value addition and diversification through strategies and instruments for integrating our economies and increasing our access to the global value chains. Later, President Arthur Peter Mtalika held bilateral talks with President of Rwanda Paul Kagame, Prime Minister of Egypt, Ethiopian Prime Minister, Commissar Secretary General Cindy Songwenya, and visited the Ethiopian commodity exchange market. <laughs> NBC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.